Hey guys, I hope you're well. So this is my second part of my haul slash reviews. Um, like I said, I've had about two months to try these products. Um, and I just find it more beneficial to review them rather than just say what I've had or, or what I've bought. So um, I'll start with lipsticks because lipsticks are my favourite thing to buy other than foundations. I love buying foundations because I love getting the perfect base. I said in my last video how important I think that is. Um, but also I love buying lipsticks just because I love the colours, they're beautiful. I don't, if I'm honest, wear lipstick all the time, um, and I probably should because I have quite a lot in my collection, and I have some really, really gorgeous shades, but um, I'm a lazy person, and I apply it once, and then I never reapply through the day, and I know I should, but I just don't really. Um, but anyway, I'll show you, because I love all of my new lipsticks, they're all beautiful, and they're, some of them are from some new ranges, so it might be quite interesting for you. So the first one I'm going to talk about is a YSL one, and a few videos back I mentioned that in the YSL Spring Collection they bought out um, some really gorgeous new Rouge, Pu uh, Rouge Pure Couture um, lipsticks. I love those lipsticks, they're a little bit more long lasting than the Rouge Volupte, they've got the gorgeous scent, they're very very creamy, they're just beautiful line of lipsticks. Um, and they bought out two shades for their summer collection I wanted. I bought the last one, it was, I think it was number 26, a very bright orangey coral. Um, and I couldn't get hold of number 24 which was the nudie peach but I finally was able to get hold of it and um, this is it as you can see it's been quite well loved it's a bit battered but it's such a beautiful lipstick this is number 24 and it's a really nice nude peachy pink um, I don't know if you can see the colour really well but I'll swatch it it's very, very similar to the Rouge Pure Couture um, number 6, which I already own. And to be honest, I reach for number 6 a little bit more. It's a little bit of a darker, more wearable colour. This is very wearable again, but it's a bit more nude and paler, which is lovely for the spring, but I've just been using number 6 a bit more. So if you already have number 6 in the collection, then I would say you probably don't need this one. It's very, very similar. But if you don't, then number 24 is beautiful if you like a paler, peachy colour. Um, another lipstick from a new collection is by Bobbi Brown and it's my first Bobbi Brown lipstick and it's from their Rich um, Lip Colour collection with SPF 12 which is good for the summer. I saw these on Temptalia, they had a really nice range of colours um, and the one I really wanted was called Bikini Pink which I love the name of and um, it comes in this quite nice packaging. It's nothing special, but it's just very, very simple like Bobbi Brown. And if I'm honest, I haven't worn this that much. It's quite a pink pink, and I don't really wear pinks that often. I wear more peaches and more nudes, but this is definitely a pink. And if you were wanting a very, very nice kind of statement pink lip, then this is really gorgeous. The formula is really, really nice, very, very soft and creamy and it's got a very strong pigmentation. It's a really, really nice kind of a little bit blue-toned pink, um, but I really, really like that one. There's another orangey one that I like as well, but I was strain myself because I bought the YSL Rouge Pure Couture one um, in the orangey coral, so I don't really need two. Um, the next one I've picked up is by NARS, and I love this lipstick. I ummed and ahed about it for a very long time after seeing lots of pictures because it's a very, very beautiful nude and I have so many nudes. But when I went to Leeds recently, I it was on the NARS counter, I swatched it, I loved it and I had to buy it. And it's this lovely new matte, I think they're called matte pure lipsticks. Um, pure matte lipsticks, yeah, and it comes in this really nice packaging, it's long and slim, I really like slim lipsticks, I find they're really nice to get shape on your lips and easier to apply and more precise, um, and it's from their spring collection but I think it's permanent because they had like a display of all the new pure matte colours and this was in it, um, but it's this really really nice true nude colour, it is very very pale, if you like your pale nudes then you'll probably love this, Similar to Gosh Darling and um, other pale lipsticks like that. If those kind of lipsticks are too pale for you, you won't like this. But it's a matte formula, so you do need to wear a lip balm underneath because it is quite drying. I can't wear this on its own. Um, I'll tell you what I wear it with in a second. But it's that colour there. 
very very nice peachy nude really really nice um, matte lipsticks tend to last longer so I really really like that about it but I do need to apply something else on top and this is another new lipstick which I love and these two work together really really well and I absolutely love this lip combo and I'm wearing it now I'll show you so it's a really nice pale peachy nude lip and it's got a really really nice sheen to it and that's because of this product this isn't a gloss but it's a balm slash lipstick slash gosh uh, slash go a gloss all in one and it's the Shiromura you've heard me probably talk about these quite a lot I absolutely love this range of lipsticks it's called the Rouge Unlimited range and these are my go-to lipsticks because they hydrate my lips they add some colour they're not too pigmented, some colours are more than others, but the ones I have are not too pigmented. So they add a nice wash of colour, and they are so, so glossy. They give a water shine effect, and I love that. And this is the colour 306, SSPK 306, and it is a beautiful, very pale baby pink with... Um, it looks like shimmer, but it's not. On your lips, it just adds that water shine gloss. And on top of the NARS Madeira, sorry, I didn't even say the name. It was Madeira, I think, but I'll write all the names below anyway. Um, I put this on top, and they just go together so beautifully. If you can see how shiny that is, and on top of the NARS, it just looks amazing. They're made to go together. Absolutely amazing. These lipsticks are not cheap. Um, they're about £20, but honestly, they are one of the best lipstick ranges I've ever tried. That and uh, YSL lipsticks and matte cream sheens, they are the best formulas I find. And I love that you don't need a gloss with the Shure Mirror because they're so, so glossy already. Um, I was going to show you a dupe. I'm sorry, I've, this video is a bit muddled, but I'll go with it anyway. Um, a dupe for the um, NARS Madeira. If you already have this lipstick, you don't need that because it's so similar. This is the e.l.f. Um, lipstick in Natural Nymph. And this is a, it isn't a matte lipstick, but it's a very, very similar colour to the NARS Madeira. has a little bit more shine to it, but it's exactly the same when swatched um, next to it this pale peachy pink and it's really really nice and for £3 it's a great lipstick and if you can see it's down there so that is the NARS one and that is the e.l.f. one very very similar so if you maybe don't have um, the money to spend on the NARS and you want one like that colour then the e.l.f. one is very very good or if you already have the e.l.f. you don't need the NARS um, anyway I'm rambling but the another lipstick that I've um, had recently I got sent this by a really really nice YouTuber and blogger we've done a swap before and she sent this to me in a little parcel unexpectedly a few weeks ago and it's the new Lady Gaga for MAC Viva Glam Lipstick number 2 in um, the nude colour and this is a really really nice nude it's actually darker than I would usually go for I usually go for pale nudes this is a very nice mid-tone nude so it would be nicer on darker skin tones or maybe if you're um, a bit scared of pale lips or you don't want concealer like lips like some of us do then this is a really nice nude for you really nice formulation um, and a really nice colour it is a little bit more peachy, it has a slight torque to it, it's kind of grey, it sounds horrible but it's a really really nice colour, colour sorry. And I've been wearing this quite a lot, it's a very wearable nude um, and like I said it has that unusual torque to it which adds a really really nice kind of effect with the peach on your lips. Um, next lipstick that I've bought is a fantastic dupe, I absolutely love this lipstick and it's by number seven and I heard about this from another YouTuber who was raving about it, I'll link the link below, I'm sorry I've completely, oh Daisy Nation, sorry, Daisy Nation, a new YouTuber I've discovered recently and she said it was a dupe for my favourite ever red lipstick, Max Toxic Tail from the Venomous Villains collection, which unfortunately I lost so I can't compare them together, but from her swatches and from my memory I know this is exactly the same almost and it's such a beautiful colour. It's this most amazing bright red with a coral undertone, peach and a slight shimmer to it. The MAC one didn't have a shimmer but this does but it's not nothing major, it's not glittery or anything. But it's the most amazing bright red, a really really wearable red because of the coral in it. And if you can see it's there, amazing colour, really nice formula and a fantastic dupe. This was about £10 but I got, I used my £5 off voucher but if you wanted Toxic Tail you couldn't get it or you love Toxic Tail that is one to get um, and it's called Tangerine Touch. Beautiful beautiful lipstick. Staying on lipsticks um, I also picked up a lip brush. 
I've never owned a lip brush before. Um, I've always wanted one but never kind of bothered to get one. But I was in MAC um, a few weeks ago and I picked up a lip brush. And I really like the packaging of this. It's the 318 and it um, doesn't have a lid and you kind of just twist it. Um, oh, not twist it, push it up, sorry. <laughs> you push up the um, top and the lip brush comes out so it's really really nice it won't get dirty, you won't lose the lid or anything it's hygienic um, and it's really nice, I think it was about £8 or so and it's just a very small lip brush which means you can get a really nice precise um, lip shape with your lipstick and um, I haven't actually used that yet but I will one day when, I, <laughs> when I'm not being lazy um, so there are all the lipsticks and lip products that um, I've bought recently. I love all of them. They're really, really nice colours, really nice formulations, and I really hope this helps. If you're looking for any lip products at the moment, um, I'll be back with another haul review video after this one. Thanks, guys. Bye.